Hello and welcome back. Um, here is an int, uh, we'll start off week nine with a small introduction to some of the topics we'll be looking at. So so far we've been looking at deep neural networks or deep learning uh, algorithm, starting with plain artificial neural networks. Um, what we had looked at in, the, uh, in this week are a collection of algorithms, very powerful algorithms, which have which are um, uh, which have been used prior to um, this deep learning, what do you call it, deep learning era, which is last five to eight years. Um, so these algorithms are again still very um, powerful. Again, uh, they retain many of their um, um, advantages. So we will look at these algorithms, uh, the following algorithms. So we look at k-nearest neighbors algorithms for supervised classification, binary decision trees, binary de uh, regression trees, uh, bagging, random forests, which are again the, these these uh, few um, these sets of algorithms. No, they are they are related because many all of them use the binary decision trees or binary regression trees right in some form most of them do and um, so we look at them as one single block or uh, mod, uh, module but of course there will be separate lecture videos we will also look at some unsupervised learning techniques which include k means and agglomerative clustering okay so these are very uh, powerful techniques um, this still again the many implementation of these techniques are still available in platforms like python and r and you are welcome to experiment with them. Um, they are they are useful, very uh, used quite a bit in data analytics. Still used, um, and their performance. For instance, random forests prior to the advent of this deep neural network success of let's say the uh, AlexNet, random forests were really uh, one of the powerful tools used in medical image analysis and many other data analytics tasks. And even now they are being used in many cases. They are some of the uh, best techniques to turn to. Uh, they are well studied, lots of ex, uh, extremely optimized uh, implementations of many of these algorithms are freely available for use in your application. So we will move on to the lectures. Um, I have given a particular order here and we will try to stick to the order in the lectures also. Okay. Thank you.